Them. And Courtney, we had uh, Robert Schiller, a man who did call the last housing bubble on the show when, when you were on last time. Mm -hmm. And he kind of similarly sounded the alarm about how we could be moving back into that kind of 2006 mentality. But to Brian's point, I mean, this is a piece of it. Even though interest rates might be low, if you're applying for a mortgage, you're still kind of constrained by getting approved. And that at least has held up in a way that I think is very, very different than back in 2006. Yeah, and I think what's also different now versus in 2006 is the consumer is not as leveraged as they were back then. So you're not seeing people with multiple mortgages and refinancing on multiple occasions. And if anything, I actually see low interest rates as a good thing because what's happening right now is millennials are starting to buy homes and low interest rates actually makes that easier for them to do it. Millennials are 40% larger than the generation that they're replacing. So you have this huge cohort of people who are about to go into the housing market, which feasibly actually could raise prices, if anything.